Howdy, folks. Happy birthday, Arthur. May I wish you many, many, many happy returns. And uh, unfortunate passing and death day of my Mr. Coffee. It has served me, Gavin, and Arthur faithfully since 2008, when it set off on its maiden voyage in the Northwest Passage, which later became Verniglin Studios, and later followed me around to the, uh, the den and to my apartment here, which I forgot what I name I gave for it. I think I even titled it, but it's my apartment. Anyways, uh, it has now passed away. Its water function is done for. So, ashes to ashes, dust to dust. Now for today's vlog. Good evening, misadventure. Farewell, morality. It's time for another risky venture into the depths of depravity. So wrap your arms around... I don't know how I'm going to survive with co without coffee. It's it's ironic. Ironic? Ironic, too, because Erica gave... Her mom works for a coffee company, coffee distributing company. Gave me a bunch of free bags of coffee. And now I can't brew it. So, uh, once I get paid, I'll buy a new one. Hopefully you all had a wonderful Thanksgiving. I hope you were as filled with turkey as I was, or at the very least, some awesome food. My condolences to Gavin and your family. <laughs> I heard you had it a bit rough. That's and I my heart goes out to you. But I hope everyone else had pretty fantastic Thanksgivings. So there's this Powerball lottery thing going on. 425 million. Got me thinking a lot as to what I would do with 425 million. I know that's not like the actual amount you get, but let's say for the sake of argument that it's like 300 million you know, for taking out for taxes and whatnot. What would I do with that amount of money? It's so much money. It's a confounding amount of money to me personally. So, in order of what I would do first, I'd buy myself a new Mr. Coffee. That'd be the first thing I'd do if I won today's lottery. The second thing is in cash. I would pay off my student loans. I would, like, go to Washington, D.C., or wherever the student loan office is, and I would have bags of money and I would throw it at the loan officers, one by one, and wipe out my student debt. So it's about 15000 seven that I that I owe, you know, basically a car. I'd buy a car after that. That would be the next thing I would do. I would establish the trust funds for my niece and nephew so that they may go to college, and nothing would stop them, and they wouldn't have to go in debt for it. So I'm going to guess what uh, rate of inflation, let's say like 200000 now in a trust fund that grows over the next 10 years. I mean, that should do pretty well, right? Right? I don't know money. I, I know nothing of money. You all know I don't know money. What I would do next? Uh, purchase my sister a home. I'd do that. And then, where do we go from there? I'd like to invest. That's, that's after that, that is sort of squared away. Um, I'd like to invest, not in like the stock market, but in people and businesses, in my friends, in things I feel like I could get a return in. Um, so if you're all serious about starting your theater company in this highly hypothetical situation, because my odds of winning the lottery are ridiculous, unless you guys want to play, then maybe our chances would go up. I would invest in your theater company in some board of directors producing kind of level throw some amount of money that you could use. I don't want to give you a ton of money and then, and I mean, I would love to give you a ton of money, but it's sort of like, I'd rather figure out what your needs are and give you those, you know, teach a man to fish. Especially, you know, if we're starting out as a company, we shouldn't start with lots of money. We should probably start small. I would probably pay off some people's mortgages. So like, hey, you want your mortgage paid? Boom, it's covered. Because, you know, you're my friend and I love you. And probably buy some more fried eggs. Buy? Make. I buy a lot of eggs so I can make some more fried egg sandwiches. That's all I got for today. I got a ton of shit to do. Vlog was number three on my list. Now I gotta read every man. You never read your men write about. I'm gonna rework a paper. I'm have a production meeting at two, fifteen. I'm gonna go to work. I'm running the fly rail for 
uh, the Youth Ballet Company's production of The Nutcracker. I'm getting paid on the side, it's pretty sweet. And then at some point I got a grade. So, that said, I'm gonna go grab my tea over there, it's steeping. And I hope you all have a wonderful week, and uh, I'll see you in like a month or so. It's gonna be fantastic.